Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Death and Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today we have a Legendary Max video on the Treads Upon Stars, the year two vision of confluence, essentially. Um, it's a really cool gun. I like what Bungie has done with these weapons, bringing them into year two um, with a different, like, variant. It's a fun, just a fun, cool thing they did, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So let's take a look at the Treads Upon Stars. This is literally year two vision of confluence. Let's pull my vision of confluence over. So we can compare them. The stats are pretty much identical, but the uh, the coloring, the perks, those are a little different, and uh, it's really really interesting. So you can see comparatively, you know, damage is, is a lot more because it's a year two weapon going against a year one weapon. The stats and the talents are the stats are the same. The talents are different, but uh, it's a really cool gun. So let's look at my treads upon stars. It dropped at 281. It reads, "Ghost has tried to translate this weapon's inscription, but the Cabal language has proven proven difficult to parse." Uh, I don't know what that means compared to the original. Let's let's look at the uh, Vision of Confluence and see what it reads. It reads, "What you have seen will mark you forever." So Vision of Confluence. I got this from the Flayer Strike. I was doing a regular strike, and it just it dropped off of one of the flares at the end uh, from a purple Ingram. And it was the Treads Upon Stars. Now, let's. it is not elemental. It is just kinetic. It doesn't have any type of uh, burn because it's a drop and it's a year two weapon. But as you can see, it's exactly the same as the VOC from year one, except it's a different color. They're all kind of like, these weapons are kind of precursors to those weapons. I know the, uh, the Red Death Exotic has a precursor called the Red Spectre that I've got. It's a pretty cool gun. So I'm, I'm going to think these are either precursors or similar models. To those, let's take these guys out. Tell them to stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. I'm doing stuff. Oh my gosh. I stuck myself. <laughs> Alright, let's get them. Ouch. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Let's not die. Alright, let's finish looking at it. And we'll uh, we'll start shooting some stuff with it. So mine has three sights. The red dot. Now these sights, these sights are not the same as the VOC either. It's got this red dot. Oh, I am dead. How nice. This red dot is really cool. Got him. Uh, then it has a range sight. What was that in the sky? Huh. That's crazy. It's got a red dot, and then it's got a long range scoped sight. A Rangeland R RLS3. I like it. You can see it does have Firefly. We'll talk about that in a second. And then the third sight, which we saw, you saw me using in the beginning, was the... True Sight IS. I'm going to leave it on the ranged lens. It has hot swap, so when I ready the weapon, it grants a period of bonus accuracy. I think it, it or bonus, um, let me go ready, hold on. Bonus accuracy. Yeah, bonus accuracy. So, it may, I guess it just makes the hitbox a little bit bigger for a few seconds. Then it comes with Field Scout. I can carry more ammo. Um, Brace Frame, which I leave it on because it increases the stability, lowers the Mac from 16 to 12, which I'm okay with. It's not such a big deal. And then, Mutiny. So it has bonus damage against fallen captains. And then, of course, Firefly that you saw procking earlier. I, I, I will use Mutiny in certain situations, but usually I leave it on Brace Frame for that extra stability. You can see it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't walk around very much. If you take the stability off and go with something like Field Scout, it walks around a good bit. Um, it's up and down, though, so you can kind of control it. Let's kill some stuff with it like that and see how it works. Oh, hi. <laughs> In my face. Got him. So, close range, no big deal. Longer range, you're going to notice that kick up a little bit. Um, it's something to control. But if you just wait for it to come back out, it kind of works in conjunction with the uh, timing of the shots of the weapon. So, it's not too hard to control. But anyway, guys, that's my Treads Upon Stars. Have any other you guys wa uh, unlocked it, gotten it to drop from an enemy? Let me know. I'm really interested to know what other guns. I know some people have gotten the Imago Loop, the uh, Fatebringer version 2 for year 2. There's a consumed vandal. I'm going to shoot you in the face. Boom, dead. So let me know what you've gotten, guys. Do you have this gun? Do you like it? What perks did you get on yours? I'm always interested to know. Uh, so send me your messages, send me your, you can, you can Twitter it to me if you feel like it. My link's in the description below for that. And Torture Knight needs to go. Get out of here, Torture Knight. <laughs> there we go, guys. All right, I'm going to dance it out. This has been a Legendary Max on the Treads Upon Stars. I always do these in the daily mission so you can see how the weapon performs against high-level enemies. But it's a little different now with the uh, infusion system. So it's a 281 weapon, but the recommended light is 240 for this, so we're good to go. 
But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the views. I say that at the end of all my videos, and I really mean it. So I'm going to dance it out. You guys have a great day, and I will see you later. See you back.